My name is Sam Merlin. I'm uh, doing a PhD in developmental neurobiology. In the finishing stages now, just writing up my thesis. I was never a great student and didn't have great marks. Um, so I spent most of my time getting to know the supervisors of the um, various topics that I liked, that I enjoyed at work because despite being an average sort of student, I still got into honours. And then once in honours, I did well and ended up with first class. A lot of it is um, very self-driven. Um, you're uh, in charge of, of your own destiny, essentially. The harder you work, the more you'll get out of it. You still have to be busy in the lab, but you can take a, a day off if you need it. Um, take a, a week off if you want a, a holiday. I never thought of going into science that I particularly wanted to be a researcher right from the beginning, but I've always found that I've just liked kind of the puzzle side of things. You don't know something, you do experiments to find out the reason. I enjoy that sort of discovery of, of new things. I identify my own um, mysteries and try to find them out myself. So early on you need a little bit of guidance, but yeah, you very quickly get into it and start thinking for yourself and really asking yourself questions about, um, about the problems that you're facing and fixing them and, uh, and discovering exactly what's going on in your model. Yeah, that's, that's what drives me. I thought about it during my uh, undergraduate when I was doing a lot of anatomy. I kind of worked out that I actually just like knowing about it, not necessarily um, fixing it or treating it or dealing with when it goes wrong. So, yeah. um, and for me, it was also at that point, I was learning new things and I found that that was the thing that in interested me. Uh, I think research is perfect for that. You're always always learning new things in research. In doing my PhD in this building, um, I've met a lot of people that kind of make me really want to do research as a, as a career. There's a lot of young researchers that uh, you know, have interesting personalities and are funny and uh, enjoy a laugh. And it seems to be the, uh, the sort of career path where you can still be serious when you need to be, but everyone can have a joke around. I, the way I did my um, undergraduate and worked into postgraduate was to, at the time, focus on things that I liked doing and see where that would take me. I know a lot of friends of mine chose their uh, undergraduate degree based on where they wanted to end up, and um, I know a lot of them who have had to change midway. My advice would just be to um, not so much think of uh, choosing your career based on the end path. I went into it um, hoping to find out what I wanted to do and I think that that definitely helps you end up in a career where, where hopefully you'll be happy doing the work for the rest of your career.